In this problem, we have a curved rod formed into a semicircle. I'm going to orient it sideways like this. The radius of the rod is R. And we want the electric field here at point P. I need to divide my rod into little charge elements, dQ. And because this is a curved rod, I'm going to call the length of that dQ dS. Now at point P, the electric field due to dQ points down like this, call that dE. And it has two components. It would have an x component, dEx, and a y component, dEy. So in order to calculate the entire electric field vector, I would have to integrate those two components separately with dEx i hat and dEy j hat. Now you can see from symmetry, as we move dq around that semicircle, the y components are going to cancel, and that would be zero. So I only have to worry about the x components. Now I'm going to call this angle up here theta, so that this angle down here is theta, which means dex is in fact de sine theta. Okay, so putting that into the integral, I have my electric field will be i hat the integral of dE sine theta. And that dE is the dE as usual, which is k dQ over r squared, and then I have a sine theta. Now, as I move around that semicircle, the distance little r from the point of interest to dQ remains constant and is in fact equal to big R. So I can pull that out of the integral, because that stays constant. And I'm having to integrate dq sine theta. Now, in order to get dq in terms of theta, I need to use linear charge density, lambda, which will be dq over ds. And ds, being an arc length, is r d theta. And the little wedge that I use to get that relationship, the angle is d theta, radius is r, and ds is the curved arc length. So substituting that into the electric field, I now get i k r squared. Instead of dq, I write lambda r d theta sine theta. Now the lambda and the r are constant, so I can bring them out. And that 1r on top cancels 1r on the bottom, so I'm left with 1r. And I need to simply integrate sine theta d theta. My limits of integration are 0 to pi. And that's why I chose theta where I did, so that I have simple limits of integration. Integrating sine theta is negative cos theta. Evaluating that from 0 to pi simply gives me 2. And so I pick up a 2 i hat k lambda over r. But remember, I can't leave lambda in there because I made that letter up myself. So lambda is equal to the total charge over the total length. And the total length of that semicircle will be pi r. So substituting that in for lambda, I get 2i hat k q over pi r squared. 